Track storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3. Weather coverage you can count on. Welcome back, my friends. It is a Tuesday that feels very warm, very humid, much like where we started our Monday. Maybe a few more clouds moving through the immediate area right now and even trying to bring a little bit of rainfall. But as we can see over the last three hours, a lot of that has weakened. Same with what we're seeing a little further on to the southwest. Now, I'm going to have it loop once again. Picked up a lot of energy as it was moving through Sioux Center. But as this little blip continues to move northward, changing more over to just showers, not much of the storms, not much of the lightning to be seen. Of course, that's a little further away in our immediate area. We're seeing just a little evidence of maybe some puffier clouds, but a lot of the rain, in fact, all of it has stopped. Moving over to a live look outside, we've got a live look over Rochester, easily seeing some clouds, but still plenty of sun poking through. The same can be said for Mason City. At the very beginnings of when I was putting all of this together for the forecast, Rochester and Mason City were both at 75 degrees. Well, that has changed immensely. So it's been about a couple hours, but even in just those two hours, we've moved into the 80s. 82 in Rochester, 83 in Mason City, both experiencing winds from the south around the same mile per hour, around the same speed. We're talking anywhere between 50 to 20 miles per hour. So slightly breezy, helping to stir up the air, still coming in from the south and still pumping up these temps and dew points. Albert Lee is still sitting at 79 degrees, so the rest of us have made it into the 80s. Don't worry, Albert Lee, you'll be joining us soon enough. These temps are not done warming. We can expect several more degrees as we head later into this afternoon. But as the dew points continue to show in the 60s, we'll actually start to see those fluctuate a bit, maybe just like we did yesterday, dropping a degree or two. Uh, it's not going to make much of a difference. We'll be staying right around the 60 degree mark, even as we head into the evening and temperatures begin to gradually cool off. 78 by 7 p.m., still feeling pretty good, and another beautiful evening is on the way. Just been loving these gorgeous summer-like evenings. Moving over to Sky Tracker 3, picking up on the cloud cover, and that's really all we see. Once again, comparing it to our Monday, we're going to be seeing these clouds begin to split apart, weaken, get a little smaller coming into sunset time frame. This is around 5 p.m., so another mostly clear night on the way. And fortunately, that's not going to be sticking around as we head into our Wednesday Another warm day, another day with some cloud cover, that mixture of sun and clouds, maybe even a bit more cloud cover. But as we head into our Thursday, we start to see some changes on the way. I'm just going to stop it right here. This is around 7 a.m. The real threat comes as we get later into the afternoon. We get that chance for some showers and storms, but highs once again in the 80s, even Friday. Now, this is all due in part to a passing cold front. Although it's not going to cool us down immediately on our Thursday when we see that threat for showers and storms, it is going to have a profound impact on the rest of the week into the weekend and into the next week week where temperatures fall where they should be for this time of year, which is right around 70 degrees. It's reflected right here on the seven day forecast. But one thing to also note is we have a chance for showers with these dropping temperatures, particularly this weekend. A little bit of plan ahead for. I would agree. I would agree with that. Yeah, we're starting fall. We are going to have a little bit of rain to battle. All right. Thank you, Sarah.